New at four, the Michigan Department of Transportation is using an innovative way to build roads in the hopes that this new method will help those roads last longer. Ray Strickland went to Orchard Lake Road at 696 in Farmington Hills, where a pilot construction project is well underway. On 696 at Orchard Lake Road in Farmington Hills, Michigan's Department of Transportation is a year into an innovative pilot project. Um, anyone that's driven this stretch of roadway knows the pavement is in poor condition. This needs to be reconstructed. The project will serve as a test to see how effective MDOT's new method will be for building roads. Traditionally, MDOT would use raw materials like crushed stone as the base for the road, but with the new method, they're using a cement and water base. It's a very durable material, but also a permeable material that drains water. And that really gives us a solid base to place the road on that will last years and years and drains water efficiently. Water is one of the biggest enemies of a road, which contributes to things like potholes. But in this case, water is one of the more important parts to the new method that MDOT says could help the roads last longer. Typically, roads last for about 20 years, but with the new method, MDOT says it could add 10 years of life on the roads, if not longer. Yep, and we hope to go beyond 30 with, with maintenance, of course. The $275 million project will look to rebuild the road from 275 to east of US 24 or Telegraph Road. The funding for the project was a part of Governor Gretchen Whitmer's Rebuilding Michigan program. MDOT says the new approach to road construction will not only be environmentally friendly, but more importantly, cost effective. It saves um, on material costs, trucking costs. Um, so it's really an efficient way to do it. Reporting in Farmington Hills, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Detroit.